Did you know that products that have lifestyle images convert twice as much as those who don't? My name is Heather Roberts, and I'm the co-founder of RSG Sales. We help home decor and furniture suppliers grow their e-commerce sales channel. Okay, so what is a lifestyle image, and why does it convert twice as much as something that isn't a lifestyle? Well, a lifestyle image, in the most basic sense, shows the consumer how you use a product in your home or in their home. It gives them a way to make it feel like, ooh, I would love to have this bed in my house because it would look beautiful. Or it makes them say, oh gosh, those throw pillows would really make everything pull together. It would bring all the colors in my room together. So lifestyle images are really important. And they're one of the key contributors from an image standpoint to customers converting because it, it pulls psychologically at those strings that make them want to have it and have it in their home. The other reasons you want to have a lifestyle image is, well, quite frankly, nowadays it's becoming a requirement with internet retailers. Internet retailers require on average five to seven images and some of them are literally making lifestyles a requirement. If you don't have a lifestyle, they won't take you. And I know for one, Home Depot is one of those suppliers. If you don't have a lifestyle image, Home Depot says, I'm sorry, we're not going to onboard you. And even if you're selling in some different sites, like an Etsy site or a Jane.com or something like that, you still want the customer to be able to imagine this product in their home. Now, I mentioned that there are five to seven images. If you have, if your product can be used indoor and outdoor, then you want to make sure you include both options for that. If you have a place or a space or an in-house photographer, there's another option. You can do something digitally to create these, these images. I do have just caution because there's some ways to do this and it's, you know, they look fabulous. Um, and there's ways to do this that looks cheap and cheesy. So if you're going to go with a third-party company who can um, create a 3D rendering of your product and then drop it into a lifestyle scene, you know, please make sure you do your due, due diligence and research about those companies and make sure you don't pay a lot of money and have crappy results. The other option is if you have um, lifestyle photography, a lot of people do these in a couple of different ways. One, uh, they use a, you know, they put their products in either their home or a home that a realtor is staging, um, and they offer to to do that. So, so those are two ways that you can, you know, make it easy because it's really hard. Let's be honest to take a lot of furniture to, you know, a photo studio. So really we find that people tend to um, use people's homes to create some really good lifestyles. Let's see, what are other, another couple of tips? Also, don't make them too complicated. So you want to make sure you're focusing on the product that you are selling. So don't have a huge scene where you have, you know, let's say you're putting an end table and it's in a room and you have chairs and sofas and coffee tables and so forth. The customer can't see that you're trying to focus on that end table. You really want to make sure that your image is simple and can help them picture it in their home and being used, but don't have it get lost. Okay, so if you have any um, other questions, we um, have done a 10-part series on all things merchandising. And if you would like a copy, just comment merch below and we'll send it to you. Thanks.